You might know me as Sarah, the girl that wears weird pants outside. Uh, this is too much. Look at my pants and tell me what you think. It's a weird thing to be known as. My coworker a day, he dropped them in our Slack and he was like, Sarah, I think you should wear them. And I took a look at them. They're from ASOS and they're the Rivington Festival high-waisted jeggings with suspender detail. Like if you're wearing pants, the, one of the benefits is that you don't have your thighs rubbing together to form chub rub. But these allow you to be hot because you're wearing pants and they also allow you to get hot here. I'm here in New York City and I'm gonna find out what people think of my pants. What do you think of my pants? <laughs> They're pretty ugly. New. They are new. I really like your pants. I would personally not wear this. They make me laugh. You're fat? No. I'm fat? No. No, no, no. <laughs> she means that um, it makes your legs like... Fat. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> they're just kind of cool looking, like they're very stylish. They seem very like in tune with the heat, nice air going through. What celebrity do you think could really pull these pants off? Oh, maybe Rihanna. I feel like Rihanna could pull of anything. Yeah, that sort of makes me think of Jane Mans. Okay. Ed Sheeran. No celebrity. Come on, Beyonce. Beyonce would totally pull that off. Yeah. Like a Kendall Jenner sort of type of thing, because she's like really skinny. Wait, do you think I'm pulling them off? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys were selling these pants, what would you call them? I call them the baloney pants. Baloney? Yeah. It Why makes would that your be? legs look like uh, slices of baloney. Oh, okay. The thigh gap pants, maybe? I don't know. Thigh suspender. <laughs> I would call them like name of a superhero, but a really bad one. So these are being called online the like chub rub pants? Why did they make these pants? Why were these made? Why were these made? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Why? Why? How does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know why. Why? I can't answer that. So I'm going to reach out to ASOS about the origin of the design to see if I can find the designer of the jeans. And maybe they can explain to us why they created them. So let's just give them some time and see how they respond. What do you think the designer was thinking when she or he made these pants? I think that she was probably stoned, I don't know, and maybe high. Desperate to think of something that nobody else has done before. Okay. And that's what designers do. They just throw it out and see what works. Did this work? I'm not so sure. <laughs> so I emailed ASOS, they did get back to me. Could you give us some more information? So I sent them the context to find out, you know, why they created these unusual pants. They said they're gonna pass on this opportunity. Um, um. Maybe they don't really know why these pants were created. Maybe the designer is like very artsy and like in their craft. And they just can't be interrupted to talk to someone like me. So I found this woman named Elizabeth. She works in women's fashion. She works with designers. She deals with buying new designs. And hopefully she'll be able to answer that question. Hey, Sam. <laughs> why? I know you didn't design the pants, okay? But if you could get into the designer's head, could you please explain what they were thinking when they made these pants? My first initial gut feeling was, is this some sort of like equestrian, like chappy pants? They remind me of like, <laughs> if you're like like a jockey or something. Yeah. I, I feel know. like reverse chaps in a way. Yes. Almost. Yeah. They're almost like, like thigh high boots, but without like the shoes. I used to horseback ride. Oh, you don't okay. want that part of you rubbing up on the horse. Yeah. Sort of look like what people are wearing in the gym with the sort of cut out things, only more bizarre. And then they made me think about that dress from Pretty Woman <laughs> um, and the opening scenes with the cutouts and the bodice. Yes. Almost like a pant version. And so I can see the inspiration. Yeah. They do look uncomfortable. <laughs> They look really uncomfortable. Do fashion designers care at all about comfort or is it all style? I think it's really brand specific. ASOS as a brand tends to push it a little bit more. They are UK based. <laughs> and you know, something could be really popular over there that doesn't do well here. I don't think they'd be a big seller. I couldn't get them in my size. They had You're sold out my kidding. size. People are buying these pants. I know bodysuits, sometimes they can be uncomfortable because they're not long enough, <laughs> but I still wear them. Yeah. Style's not always comfortable, no, right? that's true. So that could happen with these pants. People yeah. just think they're so great, even though they're like, ch -ch 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 -ch. how would you describe them? Shave proof. Wow, do you know what chafing is? Those would like, 
induced chafing, though. The stuff that you put on feet to keep it from chafing, you'd have to put that on. That's a good idea. I, I wore these outside, and I actually had to get the stick. That's another extra step, too, when you're getting dressed. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to apply there. Don't forget your deodorant. It's like, yeah. whoa, it's getting complicated. Is there any thought about those kind of uncomfortable issues when people are designing? I think it's really important when you're designing to think democratically of different bodies types, especially mm -hmm. in women's wear. I do see products out in the market all the time that you're like, okay, if you're not 5'9 in a model, like who is this gonna look good on? Right. Yeah, especially <laughs> someone like me, that would just hurt. It's a very specific person that I think could wear these without yeah. having that friction. With a very nice thigh gap. Yeah. We don't have. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. you might. Because of my, my hips, it's not. It's yeah. just get, get out and look like Jello. 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 I don't feel like you're hitting as big of a market as you could, or reaching as big of a market as you could with your brand. Thank you so much for doing this. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Fashion designer companies. We think it's fun that you're coming up with cool stuff, but hey, most of America, American women, they're bigger than that on average. So how about we look at their size, find out what makes them comfortable and sexy, and then guess what? That's a lot of money coming your way, okay? That's just math. You're welcome. Oh my God, wait. What are these? These pants are made of fur? What? Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.